Hello, I'm on the Facts of Mars. And I'm going to make my pitch to people trying to persuade you not to have DNA testing done. Now, why is that? Well, here's uh, the first of two articles I'm going to show you. This was in a Texas student newspaper. Your DNA is an abomination. Gee, where have we heard that before? Same thing Nazis uh, told Jews in world, uh, before World War II and during it, and so forth. A Texas College of Student Newspapers apologizing after coming under fire for running an opinion calling, column called Your DNA is an abomination that accuses white people of being oppressors who shouldn't exist. Yeah, they apologize, but the scumbags who uh, did this are still out there. The apology from Texas State University Star came to stars after the column was printed on Papers Tuesday edition, sparking a backlash. Whiteness will be over because we want it to be. The article reads, going to photograph sent to Fox News by multiple viewers, and when it does, there will be millions of cultural zombies, zombies aimlessly wandering across a vastly changed landscape. See, this is identical to Nazi thinking. In addition to stating white death will mean liberation for us all, Calamus also says whiteness is a construct used to perpetuate a system of racist power and white people are an aberration. You know, just insert the word Jew there, and you get to have Nazi pro propaganda. Change one word, change it from white to Jew, and you'd have Nazi propaganda. Until then, remember this, I hate you because you shouldn't exist. Column adds, you are both the dominant apparatus on the planet, and the void in which other cultures find me and you die. The column was written by Texas State University senior Rudy Martinez. The philosophy major said in a past article is one of 200 people arrested on January 20th protesting the inauguration of pro proto fascist Donald Trump. The university stars editor in chief Dennis Cervantes said in a statement issued late Tuesday, the column received widespread criticism from readers. University, university stars' opinion pages are formed for students to express and debate ideas. She said, while our publication does not endorse every opinion put forth by student columnists or columnists or guest contributors, as an editor, I take responsibility for what's printed on our pages. So, did you expel that dirtbag? No. The column could have been clearer in its message and has caused hurt within our campus community. She said, we apologize and hope we can move forward in a place of productive dialogue on ways to bring our community together. Uh, you got a Nazi with brown skin, what are you going to do about it? If he has white skin uh, saying this about Jews, he'd be in jail. Okay, uh, you want more? Here's another. Evergreen State Universe student newspaper includes a no whites allowed opinion section. For people of color by people of color. This is the way these people think. The student newspaper at Evergreen State College has a section in its opinion pages described for people of color by people of color. This should be a place where we can be us without being overshadowed by a dark cloud that is living under white supremacy and having to see all things from a white perspective. This is why we do cover these issues and it'll be in the context and from the perspective of POC and POC only, people of color. According to the section's editors as they reintroduced it to readers. 
So again, what we have here are Nazis who have a different skin color than your average Nazi. Most Nazis have white skin, that's obviously a fact. The anonymous column known as POC Talk debuted in bi-weekly Cooper Point Journal last year and returned this fall in newspapers' pages following racial unrest that erupted in the public university this spring. Dear white people, please take a step back. This is a brown people answer. White people's question hour were asking specifically for submissions from POC. The section's editors added in their September intro. As being told no seems to be a difficult concept for some of y'all. I await your emails about the Irish, how the term white fragility is meant. Great example of white fragility and how we need to view people through the colorblind lens. Just lost. LOL, lots of laughs. You will 100% not give a response. And this goes on and on. Now, here's the genetic testing part. Um, if things were different than they are now, we had a different climate, then genetic testing might be okay. But when you see vicious hate like this, vicious anti-white hate, or, you know, vicious racism of any kind, and this is in the newspapers, it's on TV, Nazis would have loved to have genetic testing, and these people think exactly like the Nazis. I got news for uh, folks, colored folks, people of color, is come back and bite you. I don't need to look at any records to know that, you know, a white, if a white person, white family helped a black person uh, being chased by the Klan, uh, they probably had their houses burned. I don't even need to see any records to know that. So, you don't want to have genetic testing. Anybody in your family gets genetically tested, they go into a database, and so do you. Because if you're related to them, um, you're automatically in a database. And given what we have going on with these anti-white haters, it could be any race, but in this case, they are anti-white. As I've just demonstrated, if you don't want you don't want people to know, it might be one eighth Indian or something, but you don't want them to know it, no matter what. Uh, more ammunition you give them, the more they're going to shoot at you. This is pure evil. But it's not even decried by the mainstream, mainstream media. The mainstream media ignores all of this. They're perfectly okay with it. They're not on our side. They're on the side of evil. Plain and simple. So my two cents is, if you're tempted to get genetically tested, warn your relatives and don't. Tell your relatives, look, we can't get genetically tested in this type of atmosphere where people are on the list simply because of their skin color. Hell, I've had a hard life for crying out loud. Yeah, I know you have the richly, le liberally elitist like Hillary. Hologram Hillary has it made. I uh, heard that one of her... Uh, the confidants just was found with a knife in his chest or something. You don't want this, though. Stay away from genetic testing. It's dangerous. You're getting put into 
the uh, database and in this current climate of anti-white hate I don't really care what skin color you are you don't want that but I'm going to say it again it'll come back and bite you on the rear end if you're a person of color and you think that this is a good thing it'll come back to bite you one way or the other like the clan burning out a white family for helping escape slave or something like that It'll bite you right on the rear end. That's my rant for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.